Good morning everyone. Uh, it's another beautiful day here. Um, it was 35 degrees yesterday. The sun's out, the sky's blue, a bit of cloud. It's going to be, they reckon, a little bit cooler today, perhaps around 27, 28, which is perfect. Um, I've just picked up another IBC, which you can probably see behind me. That's the third one. One more to go. I'll bring that one tomorrow. Um, today I'm going to be cracking on getting the, the toilet um, plumbed in, get that working. Um, and what else? I don't know. We've got a few exciting things coming up. Um, I've been asked to restore uh, a 23 year old Harley Davidson that was um, caught in the floods in 2019. Um, so I need to make some space in the workshop for that. Yeah, we'll see what today brings. Hi, we're Sharon and Andy. Welcome to Finca Life. In 2019 we bought a derelict finca that used to be a bodega in the Mercia region of Spain. The building was an empty shell with no main services, water, electric or sewage and we're restoring it doing all the work ourselves with the view to giving us an off-grid debt-free home. In addition to this self-sufficiency is very important to us so we're going to aim to produce as much of our own food as possible and the idea behind these videos is to log our progress but also to provide you with something you hopefully find interesting and informative. Please join us on our journey. Bab, the losing. Um, I've just put a, a temporary, temporary, everything's temporary in here, spur down here, um, and a flexible cup full of flexible holes go into the system. We're actually giving this loo, um, it's been sat around, it's absolutely filthy, it's a good clean up now. But we don't even know if we're going to keep it, um, we probably will, it's functional, it works, it's just a downstairs loo that's going to be off the utility room, and it works! <laughs> hey. <laughs> I've just moved the washer forward um, a bit, because this, the floor, yeah, you can't see that can you, I'll just drop it down a bit. That might work. Um, the floor here, we, it actually, it was raised up initially, but um, it didn't have sort of good stones. There was a lot of rubble and stuff in it. So we actually put this in and concreted that with the big stones. They will look all right when it's done, I promise you, <laughs> with the big stones on the front. Um, so I pulled it forward so we, you can't see the concrete because Come back up. <coughs> the worktop on here is going to be really wide. Um, where's my tape measure? Yeah, it's going to be just about 800. Um, obviously, you can't get worktop, standard worktop in 800, so I'm going to have to make it. And I'm sort of thinking what to make it out. For now I'm just going to put a temporary temporary piece of um, the same stuff we used over there in which will be sort of to about here just for now but ultimately I'm going to whether to make it out of um, floorboards and use them upside down so we get that nice sort of wood effect and then resin it over the top using that you know like gloss resin stuff you can get for this I don't know, so any suggestions are welcome as well. Um, but that's the kind of way I'm thinking at the moment. I'm back outside again. I hope the wind's not too intrusive. Um, I'm going to get the IBC out. I'm on my own today. Um, Sharon's had other, other commitments. Not the easiest things to get out on your own, but I'm basically just going to stick it on the floor here. I think we're going to put two at the back of the house where it's raised up. You can see that better now. Um, We've got a little step up here. I'm probably going to rest the back of it on there and then prop the front up using one of these big stones that came out of the bodega or... Can you see that one? A couple of these under the front. Um, so we've got enough room under the tap to get um, a bucket or something in.
Whew. Right, that's done. I'm going to fill it up now. Well, I'm going to try and fill it up, see how much water we've got left in the deposit. And um, we might as well get it out and into this. This is one leak I shouldn't do. That'll take a while, but we'll just leave it and we'll crack on with something else. Um, yeah, a thousand litres, I don't know how much we've got. I'm going to have to keep an eye on it because it's getting quite low in the deposit. It does have a, a valve on the pump um, that should switch it off automatically, but I'm not taking any chances. It's one of those not getting much done today, but planning days. Um, I think what we've got to do, we're moving in on the 1st of June. Yeah. So we've got we've got kind of got it against us a little bit. Um, Sharon's going to finish painting the bedroom, um, which should be a couple of days now. She's back tomorrow, a couple of days, and then all we've got to do pretty much in there is get the floor down, um, which should shouldn't take too long at all. The other thing I think we need to do is to get this wall built for this downstairs loo, which is just about going to be immediately behind me where I'm sitting um, I've been thinking I was thinking about building using four inch four inch nine, 90 mil um, thick fence posts essentially to build an external frame that will remain visible and then um, fill in between and probably TNG clad it I think like a bit of a a Swedish sauna look. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether to board it and and skim it like we've done upstairs, or to do that. But I think I'm definitely going to go with the the big thick posts in the corners against the wall there, and probably on the floor. Um, the ceiling. They've already got the joists. You can see. You better see those <laughs> professional photography work there. Um, and the same, so like there'll be a post here, a post at the back above that corner there. Expo I'll probably build a door frame out of it as well, to be honest. Um, so I haven't got the wood, so I need to get the wood. And um, so I think I'm going to have to nip back um, later on this afternoon, pick up the other IBC. So I've got an empty trailer, and uh, tomorrow to to collect the the posts and stuff that I need. Um, I probably have to get them from two different places. It's all cost dependent. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm hopefully going to start on this tomorrow. So let me know what you think now <laughs> with that kind of idea. I like the idea of the chunky, chunky box around it. You know, a visible, visible post. Um, don't know whether I'm, I'm kind of liking the idea of TNG inside and out, just on the two walls. Um, I'll probably leave the inside walls as exposed stone. Um, don't know. I'm thinking it. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. So TNG or skimmed like the walls upstairs. Let me know what you think. The IBC is filling up. It's got about 100 and 130 litres. If you can see them out there, there's the 100 mark. So 100. And that's it. It's on a bit of a slope. So probably just over 100, 120 litres in it. It does take a while. Um, I'll show you down the well where it gets pumped from. If you can make out down there, I'll zoom you in a bit. Well, it might be a bit dark, but we've got, basically what we've got down there is, is a, a pump. It's a it's a submersible pump, and it lives down there. The cable at the back, the black cable there is um, that one. That's the power supply. This is just a, a rock that I use. It's got a rock on the end of it that I use to tell how much is in it. And it's just, it's actually suspended from this um, string at the minute. I'm actually going to put a chain on it. Um, it gets pumped up from there through that. Um, pipe you can see coming through the entrance there 
and into the hose pipe and into there. Pretty, pretty basic, but it works. So the next phase, next thing we've got to do is put this worktop in here. Um, we don't know exactly how far it's going to go there until the fridge freezer arrives. Um, but I put that piece of timber on the wall. I've literally just um, spray foamed it to the wall. It is really good stuff, but I will obviously put some stronger proper fixings. The reason I did that was because I just wanted to do it quickly and get it level. Um, so that's in place now. I can start to work out um, the rest of it. This has now gone off enough to hold it, so I've put a couple of supports in. There's one in the middle, one at that end, and then this one here. This I'm going to stick in any second now. Um, I'm afraid I've got now got to go um, get this IBC sorted out so I can pick up my me, me wood to start on this wall for, for the loo tomorrow. Um, bit of a short video, not a lot's happened, a lot of thinking, a lot of working out. Um, but yeah, thanks again for watching. If you do find it beneficial, if you do enjoy it, you know, consider subscribing to the channel. It doesn't cost anything and it helps us out immensely. Um, yeah, and we'll be back tomorrow with some more, hopefully a bit, bit faster moving. Thanks again. See you tomorrow.